Benjamin Franklin was born on January 17, 1706, in Boston, Massachusetts. By the time he was 17, he had moved to Philadelphia to work as a printer for his brother, James. Here at the United States Postal Service Museum, we see some originals of Franklin's Pennsylvania Gazette, which was one of the United States' most prominent newspapers. He printed the paper and often contributed some of his ideas. He often published political cartoons that spread revolutionary ideals. When Franklin arrived in Philadelphia, he walked along Market Street. He then built his house in this very neighborhood. A Market Street dwelling was where Franklin held his first job. He also met his future wife and close friend on this block. Franklin was a well-respected man in the neighborhood that he called home. Franklin was heavily influenced by the Enlightenment, especially by various philosophical writings. It is evident that he made great contributions to this era. Franklin was the inventor of the glass harmonica, Franklin stove, and the swim fin. Right here is the first floor of Benjamin Franklin's house where his book found you about, and this is like the framework. The second floor was where Ben and his wife lived. The third floor was later turned into a nursery for young Sally Franklin. This is where Ben Franklin's kitchen used to be. Most of the letters between him and his wife in 1765 were regarding details about the house. This privy pit was made probably around 1786 when Franklin expanded his house. Um, a, vertical, a vertical brick pipe drained um, into a stone drain and this is it. Franklin's beloved home, outbuildings, the print shop made for his grandson, and gardens were destroyed in 1812. In place of the beautiful monuments are now new streets. People will only be able to see the ghost of his precious home. As was common at the time, Benjamin Franklin's printing office in Bindery, where he worked, was just a few feet from his home. Franklin also built a small office for his grandson, Benjamin Franklin Bache, who was living with him at the time. Bookbinding was a trade separate from printing, but equal in craftsmanship. With the kind of equipment you see here, artisans turned printed sheets into pamphlets and books. Bookbinding could be a tedious and long process from sewing individual folded sheets to sewing frame to creating swirling patterns on marbleized paper. In this way, the printed word was woven into book. Poor Richard's Almanac by Benjamin Franklin was one of those books woven. This man is demonstrating what Ben Franklin did for his first job. Orders were printed by subscriptions. On average, 180 sheets were produced per hour. A little slower. Okay, here we go. Got a fold. One fold, and then another one farther in. Imagine how much faster I'm doing this. Do it every 20 seconds. And sometimes I have to keep that up for a long period of time. Oh, that's not too bad for the first print. But as I said, it wasn't going to be too, too good. But three or four more of these don't get better. This is where um, printers would like to put together the movable type and apprentices would have to like clean it every night. That was like a daily task. <laughs> so this is just like an interesting fact about like the printing press that they used to do. Um, this is like kind of how the word uppercase and lowercase came to be. Like all of these up here would be like uppercase letters and all these down here would be lowercase letters. This is the last resting place of Benjamin Franklin. He was born in 1706 and died in 1790. Many men respected Franklin. Venerated for benevolence, admired for talents, esteemed for patriotism, beloved for philanthropy. The sage whom two worlds claimed as their own, he tore from the skies the lightning and from the tyrants the scepter. These quotes were said by Washington, Mirabeau, and Turgot. Thank you, little Cupid, thank you, little Dandy, by the music and the step and with the girls be handy. Thank you, little Cupid, thank you, little Dandy, by the music and the step and with the girls be handy. By the music and the step and with the girls be handy. So it costs $3 to get into the cemetery, so we're not going to do that. So we're just going to do free admission by standing outside here. <laughs> so, here you go, B. Frank. <laughs> Your boy! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> we're like, cars on the cake. <laughs> Mating bird call virus kid. Focus.
Pocahontas. <laughs> go, go, go! Oh, yeah. I'm a fat. Yes, yes, yes. You make the arrow. You gotta match up the arrow with the fat. That's fine. And we're gonna have to go through the whole circle. Megan! <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. Work it. I feel like we're turning milk. We are turning milk. I'm a fat little German boy. Okay. You match that? Yeah. All right, so this is the quarter, right? Yep. Benny. <laughs> I love how this is like so complicated. All right, now you turn it. Why are you turning it again? Turn it. Until what? Until it pops out. Oh, that you're creating it? <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be so embarrassing. Too much effort. Yay! Look at this finished product. This better be Ben Franklin. Be Frank. BJ. Look how, BF. Look how like pretty of a penny it is. Like I use such like a clean penny that it's like all shiny. <laughs>